Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing just fine, buddy. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> nice to have you on your yeah. birthday. We're ready to go hunting. Yes. 69 today. Young, 69 yeah. young. Welcome to the second season of Big Game Adventures. In this episode, we are joined by Brad from Alaska as he hunts with PJ Safaris in the Limpopo Valley Game Reserve. Brad, so <coughs> what we spoke about is the sable, the elan, the fish pot, the pork. It's a big work. Yes. Well, exceptional anything, but yeah. bush buck, I don't know what exceptional is. Yeah. Right. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Brad. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, last year we managed to get you a kudu on your birthday. Mm -hmm. This year you only arrived in camp on your birthday. But That's right. still we managed to have a little stalk this afternoon. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, from tomorrow on we'll hit the ground running. Yeah, we almost got run over a few minutes ago by, by uh, it was it, four wildebeest, wasn't it? Yeah, that was probably four bulls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they came running right through. So <laughs> dust everywhere. but. Well, Brad, it's a great, great pleasure, and it's nice to enjoy this day with you. And um, we hope in the future we can make it maybe a, a formality, maybe That's that right. every year on your birthday. On my birthday, I'll be here. So yeah. perfect. Yeah. Good to be with you and and Morgan. So thank you. Anyhow, thanks, guys. birthday dinner that night and it was wonderful. We had a great time at it. This segment is brought to you by Fit Pro Fitment. Let's see what, what, uh, what the day brings in store for us today. An elan, uh, sable, uh, bush buck, or a uh, warthog, or a baboon. Let's head out. All right. Okay, Saturday, June 11th. Uh, we got up about 6 o'clock, had some breakfast, and uh, headed out hunting. It was quite cool. We're driving to one area and all of a sudden Eugene saw a sable, which was on my list. And uh, we, uh, we went on quite a distance and then got out of the truck and started back to find it. The brush, it was very, very thick there. I know. Eugene had told me how thick the brush was this year due to late rains. I got on the uh, sable but could not get a clear shot at his vitals. Uh, so we moved some to the left. Just like that the sable walked out on the road and I put the gun on the sticks that Eugene had provided.
we found him about, I'd say, 60, maybe 70 yards later, and he was piled up dead. I was able to get my uh, first sable. Well, Brad, we didn't go 80 yards. Well, perfect shot. Congratulations. Thank you very much. My sable boot. What do you think, Morgan? I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Oh boy, that was great. One shot fired, one sable collected. So. Yes. <laughs> that was a good morning. Yep. So. Trigger cam for the ultimate firearm filming solution. Proud sponsor of African Safari Films and Big Game Adventures series. Tonight. Good morning. Just fine. Just fine. Good morning. A little chilly this morning. Not too bad. I think it's like 47 degrees. It'll probably warm up here once the sun gets up. Doesn't look like there's any clouds today, so. came down around the corner and there stood a huge uh, white rhinoceros and that's the second time I've seen I'm not sure it's the same one but the second time I've seen a rhino here and it was quite a thrill I really enjoyed just seeing animals like that that you don't normally see you don't want to hunt it was just a thrill to see that wow wow that is me Look at here. Oh, look at that. Look at the horns. It was a good day overall. And tomorrow we will be heading out again.
No, it's so much fun hunting with somebody that can shoot. <laughs> there were some oh. branches in front of him, but I was, uh, yeah, he cleared there. Yeah, I think. Uh, nice shot. Oh, right. Again, well done, Brad. Thank you. Perfect shot, nice old male baboon. Oh boy, <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> All right, Brad, um, way after sunset, <laughs> we can already hear some hyena calling in the background oh. there. Um, so, yeah, you said you, you would like to go after a baboon. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so, yesterday afternoon, we were just scouting to find out where they. They hang out late afternoons and in the evenings, which baobab trees. Right. Uh, we identified this spot yesterday afternoon, and this afternoon we, just after sunset, we slowly snuck up into this tree. Got a little bit um, <clears throat> rhino traffic in the way. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes. So yeah, we had to wait for the, the female rhino and the two calves <laughs> to take off first, and then we continued our stalk. First we waited at another baobab, but there was no action there. We could hear that there's <clears throat> some more action just in the next baobab. So we slowly just snuck up and uh, we identified the tree where they are in. We, we saw this male baboon on a lower limb and then he's, he climbed up and he was sitting behind some other limbs. So not really a shot you want to take. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so and I think we set up on about 140, 150 yards. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right at the point where you, you wanted to shoot him through the limbs, you decided to move and go sit right in the open. Yeah. And you made a perfect uh, shoulder shot, I think right through the heart. And yeah, he just dropped like a bag of potatoes. <laughs> that was really, uh, again, we were, we were watching him and he moved a little bit and then he was in front of the limbs and then he moved again and then finally he went up toward the top where he was open and then it was, uh, it, you know, put the crosshairs on him and squeezed and of course, it, you know, I, I saw the fire out of the gun, but the next thing I saw through it was uh, it, him drop out of the tree and hit the ground and just pulp. So, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, at time of day when we shot him, you basically only saw the silhouette. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you could make out any part of it. You could see the silhouette and mm -hmm. you can see the way he was sitting. And <clears throat> just due to all your experience, you know exactly where to aim and made a perfect shot. Once again. Congratulations. There we go. Good, thank you. Fit Pro Fitment, proud sponsor of Big Game Adventures. For all safari vehicle bar work, hunting rails and bumper replacements. Fit Pro has you and your vehicle covered. Ready to go. This bed is water hole. Put out some uh, a little bit of hay yesterday and uh, it got hit. So <laughs> we just saw a big Niava bull. So we're gonna get in here. Yeah. And limp back through. They saw him go down and then he got back up. I couldn't get a shot at him. Whew. Well, he's a big boy. He's very big. Wow. He was laying right here. Which way did he run? That way. There's blood. Yeah. He went that way. This way, this way, this way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait for him to stop. Thank you, straight. Thank you. Good trekking. Thank you. Excellent work. Like I said, when when we came back through, and I looked and I saw a brown patch, and I stopped and looked at it, and all of a sudden it turned its head and jumped. I clapped a shot at it quick. And I was like, oh, man. But you got your big pig. Well, you went and got this. The hunt saver. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, holy crap. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 look at him. That's the big guy we were looking for right there. We were sitting in the blind. I was actually sleeping because we had been in the blind for several hours and hadn't seen anything. The weather was kind of nasty today, really overcast, and it was cold earlier. And all of a sudden, Morgan said, Brad, big warthog. <laughs> Woke up and it was, what a surprise it was. And he was over on the other side of the uh, of, of the water hole. So I was, I got the gun up, just went ahead and shot, and it it squealed and took off. Wow, what what a wonderful warthog! <laughs> this is this is what I've 
I've wanted right here, one this big, so. We're out here this morning trying to see what uh, what we can find this morning. Yesterday was a good day. We had a uh, huge warthog. Hopefully, uh, we get something come in here. We want to shoot. We're looking for that big impala. Hmm. So, but we'll see what comes in today. We're sitting there. All of a sudden, uh, Morgan says, "Brad, here comes a." Uh, a jackal. So, uh, of course, I get the gun and came in to drink, and I started to put the, the barrel out the window, and Morgan said, "Stop!" And it, the jackal was looking our way, and he said, "They're very sharp-eyed." So, um, then he went back to drinking, and I got the rifle in place and shot and uh, collected my first jackal. He's dead. I just talked to you this morning about the jackals come into the stand. Yeah. Or into water. There he is. Beautiful shot, Brad. Thank you. Good job, beautiful. We're here at the Clip Water Hole. It wasn't more than, I guess, an hour and a half or so. And here comes a jackal. <laughs> so I got a shot at him and here he is. I got another animal off my list. The next segment is proudly brought to you by Olight. Next level lighting, when hunters need it the most. Light, turning night into day. Yes, we're out to hunt bush buck tonight. Uh, this is new bush buck, and actually, if we see a bush pig too, so this is a new experience for me. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I always like new experiences. We hadn't gone real far, and uh, all of a sudden, there's a uh, three. Uh, females so um, Eugene said oh you know this is good we're seeing some females and we went a little farther and there's uh, there's a bush buck and uh, so he tells me yeah, that's a really good buck uh, go ahead and take him and I shot and he he turned and ran and we watched and then we watched him run down in what we thought was him running down into uh, the wooded area. Thought for sure I'd had a good shot into him, but we're looking for the for the bush buck for like I, I, it must have been like 40 or 50 minutes. After looking around for quite a while, all of a sudden I saw 
uh, the fellow who owns a farm uh, reached down into the grass and pulled up the head and apparently it had shot right in under the grass. We got him Brad! Wonderful! Looks like a good one. I don't know what a good one yeah. is. He crawled right into a bush. Is that what he did? And we walked, I walked probably twice past him. Wow, I, 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 I go best ever. Here he is. I, I, <laughs> I knew I was right on him. Well, congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, oh man, nice that was over. great. Thank nice you. Job. All right. Spiral completed. <sighs> Well, Brad, we came to the end of your safari, um, 11 days, of which we spent more than half chasing after Eland. Yeah. <laughs> your big dream was to complete your, your spiral slam. Uh, last year we did the kudu on your birthday, got a beautiful nyala, and um, finished it off with a beautiful bushbuck. <laughs> this is amazing. This is my, it was my first look at a wild bushbuck, and it was amazing. Uh, I have had such a wonderful time and uh, hunting with PJ safaris is always a treat. Well, Brad, until we see you next year. Next year. Well done. <laughs> Thank and you. it was a big, big pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we go again. So. It has been a wonderful safari far beyond what I could ever think but everything the trophies were exceptional it was so much fun uh, the people I hunt with Morgan and Eugene and Pete uh, they were all wonderful to me and always have been here this is a thank you to PJ Safaris to Eugene Jansen Pete Jansen, uh, all their staff. This has just been an incredible safari for me. They have taken such wonderful care of me. The hunting has been at times hard, but we've made it a successful, extremely successful safari. Eugene Jansen has been wonderful to me. He always goes above and beyond, and I can't thank him enough for his friendship and his hunting knowledge and his ability to make me laugh and have a good time. It, it has been absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to come back again. I would never think of going anywhere else because this is the A++ place to come to. So again, thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next year.